My name is Louisa. What's your name? Oh, my name. How many words do you have to write? Relax. Now, what do you know about the different types of graphs? There is table. Yes. There is bar chart, graph chart, uh, line chart, sorry, by chart. Uh, uh, there is map, there is diagram. Perfect, brilliant. Process. Okay. The process, which we've already spoken about, so I'm going to keep this very quick, it's called a flow chart. describes and what were the other ones? Uh, bar chart, table yeah. and the last one a bar graph and coherence yep. and that includes use of paragraphs if you don't use paragraphs you automatically get a band 5 on this section mm. okay so what else do you have to do you were saying uh, put the introduction to introduce the chart the topic yeah and uh, give uh, an overall or overview for the... So you have your introduction, then you have your body, which is where you compare and you contrast the data. Where you talk about what the most important similarities and differences are. It's very important when you start writing, before you start writing, read the question carefully. You might need to flip the order of the sentence. Or change the part of speech. So, for example, you might need to change a verb to a noun. Formulate formulation, for example. What could be a synonym for show? Uh, illustrate, demonstrate, uh, explain. Uh, That's fine. What could be a synonym for developing? Developing for third world countries, you can say. Okay, and industrialized. Developed countries. Good. This isn't working, but you will be marked on lexical resource. So this concerns the type and range of vocabulary that you will use, as I have said, and you need to learn some t t specific terms to talk about the graph. Search. Line. Can we use a step up? I wouldn't use step up. Step up. Okay. okay. 
car sales surged in 19 last November Brilliant. Went up. The UG there was. Underlined there was because it's normally the form you use. Then what do I put after there was? Dunno. Yeah. So there was. Mm hmm And then we have the There's topic. Plus the time period. We might have to decrease. Any others? To decline. To blunt. To go down. Car sales plunged in 1990 and then hit the lowest point in So again, let's say there was a downward trend. Decrease. decrease a reduction yeah. average average success rate in 1990 in the average of success for amount And the reason is, is because pollution uncountable. is an uncountable noun. And we use amount generally with uncountable nouns, number, countable nouns. And to determine whether it's countable or uncountable, think, can you measure it? Can we measure pollution? Can we measure... Can we count water? No. No. We can measure it and we do say glass a glass, two glasses two glass of... of Let's talk about steadiness. So that's when your table is like this. Blue graph, shall we say? One of the ones we have is two plateau. Yeah. That's when there's a straight line. Straight. level of stability in the number <coughs> of cars sold in 1990. Of steadiness. 
Individuals, people, So if you have a graph that suddenly goes to describe this, we'd say steep. Because there was a spectacular increase in the number of cars sold in 1995. Would you like to give me an example? Uh, there will be a dramatic rise in rock oil production in 2018. <coughs> Fantastic. When? Mm -hmm. 